the series one uh, which is on uh, applications of metal organic framework in medicine so uh, the first part of the series is introduction to metal organic framework So, metal organic framework are composed of secondary building units uh, which are made of metal and ligand complexes and this ligand uh, extends in a periodic fashion okay uh, to give these kind of various hierarchical structures uh, this various structure depends upon entirely upon metal coordination uh, nodes and also ligand morphology so molecular building blocks of MOL how to prepare them how we can synthesize what is the principle behind it so uh, it's basically Lewis acid based chemistry you can say for simplicity and uh, uh, so ligand how do we define it the ions are molecules bound to a central atom in a coordination entity are called ligands and central atom or ion that is Lewis acid is defined as uh, a coordination entity okay where an atom to which a fixed number of ions are bound in a definite geometrical arrangement around it is called central atom so just to brush upon this uh, Lewis acid base so Lewis design a base as an electron pair donor and acid as an electron pair acceptor okay so reaction between this Lewis acid and Lewis base is called generally donor acceptor reaction so it involves the formation of a coordinate bond and more often than not a complex compound so nowadays to explain this uh, coordinate bond formation this quantum mechanical uh, equation so that uh, for simplicity we are keeping it to Lewis acid based chemistry only. So, uh, uh, for example, I've taken three ligands here uh, monotopic, uh, diatopic, and tritopic ligands to form a linear chain or three dimensional uh, network. We need to use either a diatopic, tritopic ligands uh, as you can imagine from here here the li metal ligand extends framework framework extends so there are this monotopic ligands that uh, if you imagine you cannot extend the structures it is arrested in only one direction so this is so they generally are used as a modulator to modulate either the size porosity porosity by extending this backbone and uh, shape so this modulator are also called as shape directing agents so they are generally monotopic so Lewis acid uh, in metal organic framework we use uh, generally use iron zirconium magnesium copper for biological abrasion they use iron zinc magnesium also used and zirconium generally so how to prepare this how to synthesize it so uh, in generally any in any uh, organometallic synthesis we assume that water is not an inert solvent okay in inorganic complex reaction so it will be useful so uh, how to prepare them uh, these are general method used solvothermal reflex method sonar chemical microwave acid mechanochemical method electrochemical method and much more there are always uh, various new techniques are used okay uh, either physical or chemical so uh, generally just to introduce mechanochemical method uh, generally aims to reduce the solvent and solvothermal reflex method are generally used for a high uh, gives high yield 
and for large scale sensors they use this a microprocessor will give faster uh, uh, power responses or a faster yield so on a chemical also same thing but it is difficult to control them so electrochemical is potential dependent and it gives faster uh, uh, crystal growth and also uh, because of faster growth temperature control sorry uh, for potential control it gives dendritic structure if you don't control it properly so generally for such uh, they use solver thermal reflex and uh, in some cases electrochemical there are various ways you can use uh, for single crystal growth, I believe we can we do it through solar thermal uh, because it requires slow processes. Uh, factor that affect the yield quality and reflex. Uh, yeah, it requires a slow process, so that's why we use uh, the. Uh, that means that new, the crystal should not be disturbed by any external force. So factors that affect the yield quality in uh, general synthesis is that more lead concentration, viscosity of the solvent, ligand to metal ratio, because ligand itself uh, at high ratios tend to give you smaller crystal size. Okay, so uh, to prepare large uh, single crystal, uh, such as this, so uh, the nucleation step is control. Yeah, and not like a classical synthesis method where the solid concentration is rise to a super saturation then the crystal growth is initiated in this case you have to control the step reaction or the formation of uh, uh, metal ligand nodes okay so uh, in literature they used formic acid sodium format in some cases like for copper MOS they used also nitric acid and also by controlling the pH so uh, these are the top three MOFs that are used in medical sciences either for drug delivery as implants okay and also in certain sensing application uh, Mill 100, uh, the second one is EO66, the third one is the fate. They have uh, also been tested for toxicity, we'll discuss that. So uh, in upcoming videos we'll discuss individual MRF, Mill 100, EO66, the fate and the toxicity by compatibility studies in vitro and in vivo study and also on details on how to prepare them and various ways uh, like a few case studies we'll go through so for different application uh, in medical sciences so other than this uh, MOF is generally are used in uh, separation technology gas storage application and catalysis Nowadays, even some certain commercial products are available. Uh, especially flexibility of some MOFs uh, material is a unique feature, not observed in porous solids, classical porous solid like zeolite. Example of this uh, type of MOF is, I believe, mil 53 because it has breathable properties also. So that's it for today. Good luck.